welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and you're watching So Beauty Stuff. So before I go any further, um, you may or you may have not noticed my facial expressions aren't quite right today. Kind of unexpectedly, I don't really know too much about it, but I um, had some weird things going on this week um, with my face. Um, I had some numbness and, um, and some mild drooping. Um, I have uh, what's called Bell's palsy. Um, so it is a temporary condition, it will get better, and I am on some pretty strong medication right now to try and help my body heal from that. Um, so um, what that basically means is I have an inflamed nerve somewhere in my face um, that is then uh, restricting the use of my muscles um, around my eye and around my mouth. So um, I can't quite purse my lips evenly and I can't um, blink this eye quite well. I kind of have to really struggle to close it. So if I look like I'm winking at you with this eye, it's not deliberate and I'm sorry. So today I've got a really exciting video for you um, for two reasons. One, um, I'm using one of Makeup's original cult favourite eyeshadow palette, the Urban Decay Naked palette. It's kind of almost like the market is a bit flooded with possible tutorials, which is probably why I've never thought to go for one. Um, but actually, there are so many different looks you can come up with this. And that brings me on to point two of why this is such an exciting video. I'm actually doing this in collaboration with Sharon from Bond Beautiful. Um, so I'll link her channel down below so you can check out her video. And she's gonna come up with a totally different look from me. So obviously I've come up with this cut crease look, which I love. I love a cut crease. I haven't done one for ages. Um, I have got a full cut crease tutorial for beginners down, uh, I'll link it down below in the uh, description bar if you want to check that out but otherwise I'm just going to talk you through what I'm doing today um, but if you do need to go back to basics and just work out what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, why I'm doing it, that video is really useful. Before we go into it I won't talk too much about it because I'm sure you have heard of or seen this palette before. It is a neutral palette, you have got a mixture of different textures. Obviously being that I am here to show you a makeup tutorial, it does seem a little odd to um, do it when half my face isn't working correctly, but it is much better than it was. Um, at the beginning of the week, I couldn't really open it without it crying. Um, and I also had to wear an eye patch, which was beautiful. Um, but I just thought, you know what? Sometimes people have uneven eyes anyway. Um, this is a great way of showing how you can kind of manipulate the way you apply eyeshadow to make them look more even. I'm gonna stop rambling on now and just get on with the video. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting with a full face of makeup except for on my eyes. And as you can probably tell, this lid here is a little droopy. So I'm gonna start by using some uh, MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and just blend that in with a, a Sigma Precision Round brush. I am going to have to lift this eyelid up just to avoid any creasing. Now going in with the Naked palette, I'm going to use Virgin just to go over my base to set the primer again to avoid creasing. Okay, so now we want to start building up a crease and this is where we can really do some corrective work with the uneven lids. So I'm just going to get quite a fluffy brush, this is just a Sigma Diffuse Crease. I'm going to start by going in with Naked. So on this eye I'm going to go where my crease naturally falls. Um, so to mirror this crease that we've got here, I'm going to try and draw on just above my crease, kind of here, and create the illusion of a similar crease on this side. So now I'm going to go move along to back. So I'm going to focus this more on the outer corner of the crease, but still pretty much just doing the same movement here. And traditionally with um, an eyeshadow, you would kind of bring it down, but if we're doing a crease, we kind of want to bring it just out almost to a tail at the end here. Okay, so the next stage will be to actually carve out the crease. When your eye is open, you can see the crease. So where my natural crease falls in this eye, we want to kind of go just above there. I'm taking a Zoeva spot liner and I'm going to go with the color Dark Horse. And I'm going to look straight ahead and make some dots. Okay, 
and as you can see it's quite naturally forming a bit of a crease for us and rather than follow the eye all the way down you want to just tail that out a little so now the tough bit is going to be mimicking this exactly over on this eye So this line I've actually brought out a lot straighter and this one's a bit more wavy so I'm just going to try and even that out. You can just take that lighter brown and just go back over um, the blended bit at the top now that we know where the line's going to be. Okay so now that I've got my line, I've got my crease put in, I'm going to go in and carve out the lid. I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear for this, not even a full pump. I'm going to use the Real Techniques Detailers brush. Just following that line and try to keep it really smooth. As you can see this lid has come out pretty messy. You can take a beauty blender or something similar and just lightly dab that over to make sure that you haven't um, got any creasing and then we, we quickly want to set it the same way we set the eyeshadow primer I'm just going to dab this colour all over the lid this is virgin you can go back in with a blending brush so now this is the totally fun part we can choose whatever colour we want from here to go on our lids um, and I think being that it is the naked palette and we've got these absolutely stunning gold colours they're the ones I'm gonna go for I'm probably gonna go in with a mixture of half-baked and smog there so I'm going to use um, quite a flat brush here, this is a medium sweeper from Sigma. Um, and I'm going to start with half bake. Now we want to really load up the brush and then essentially just pack it on the lid. When you get to the edge of the eye, you just want to sort of sweep it so it disappears. While you have to be careful near the extra line, you can just use a finger to sweep this over the lid and that gives us a much more intense pop of gold so I did also say I was going to use a bit of smog so I am just going to start in from the outer corner and then go back in with my brush to blend the two together it's just going to help add a little bit more definition to the shape of the eye and if you are finding you want a little bit more definition to the crease which i certainly am my sigma smudge brush i'm going to take dark horse which is what i used in the crease originally and i'm just going to sort of really gently sweep back over that line What I always think uh, complements a cut crease is a nice big wing and so I do want to do that I'm just gonna have to think very carefully about how I'm going to tie that in with the droopy eye so I'm going to take my MAC uh, dip down fluid line so it's a gel eyeliner and it's in brown and this is just going to make it a little bit more forgiving if I do decide that I've gone the wrong way with my eyeliner wing So don't worry too much that's not a point, again it's something we can easily, easily fix. I'm just going to trace really close to the lash line to start with, bring the wings down and create a V with that. And as you can see it's not massively defined as a line which is quite good because this side I totally messed it up. So I'm going to take a cotton tip and I'm going to take some micellar water Considering how much I cannot feel this eye, it gives the appearance of a similar amount of lid being visible, which is essentially what we want. So I'm just going to get the tip of my beauty blender and just dab that around where I was 
fiddling around with the cotton bud just to make sure there's no uh, loose makeup around there. And now to tie it all together, I'm gonna go under the eye. So back in with the Naked palette, I'm gonna go with something quite dark. I think I'm gonna go with Hustle here. And I'm gonna use the same smudger brush that I used to do my um, crease line. I don't recommend pulling your eye down, but fortunately I can't look up the way I need to for this. And I'm actually gonna run over the eyeliner a little bit just to set that to make sure the, the gel doesn't run any. And then you want to get a bit of a wider, more sort of fluffy, smudgy brush. So we can go back in with Naked and just smudge that underneath to make that blend a little better. You don't have to be neat and tidy with this at all. And then to really open up the eyes, I'm just going to go in the inner corner with something really bright. So I'm taking my Clean, I just cleaned it off, um, Detail the Brush Real Techniques. And I'm going to go with Sidecar because this is a gorgeous bright colour. Just paint that in the inner corner there. So that's all the eyeshadow I'm going to use today. Um, I'm going to go in with um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I would normally put false lashes on. I'm not sure it's a good idea with my droopy eye, whether I'll be able to do it and whether it's um, good for my eye. So we'll just take a bit of Virgin and we want to focus it really in the, um, this high point of your brow bone but you also want to drag it down so there's a clear definition from the underneath of your eyebrow and your eyeshadow makeup. We'll start there and just drag it in. Okay so that brings us to the end of this tutorial using the Naked palette. As I mentioned, this video is actually a collaboration with Sharon from Overbond Beautiful. Um, if you have come over from my channel, leave me a comment down below, say hi, I'd love to meet you. Um, and if you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, it's free. Um, and until next time, see you later.